Hello, Seattle Andrew here, and I'm going to be showing off the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play and some of the awesome games that come with it. Now, this is the Xperia Play. It's got the nice little keypad there. But one of the things I wanted to show you is uh, there's actually a couple of developers that have actually started using this, the little touchpad, and one of the games is Age of Zombies. And I can use the shoulder buttons to navigate through the different modes. And I can't use this here, but I can use the D-pad. So I'll do something like Survivor, and I'll do like this level. I can make all my selections. But the nice thing is this game uses this. And unlike the Gameloft games that have done this, um, it actually registers really well, rather than like sort of a swipe action. It does like a full stick motion, which is really handy, especially for games like this, um, where you want to make sure that you have all that full range of motion uh, and not just sort of like swipes. Um, the more that I've used this, I started realizing that I think the Xperia Play, this little thing down here is like a little extra touchpad. So developers could use it theoretically to like I don't know, do something else, rather than just the analog sticks. Um, imagine like unlocking your screen rather than swiping on screen, you swipe across the gamepad. That could be something. Um, but there's a lot of possibilities. Um, this is just an example of one game that looks really good and plays really good on the Xperia Play. Um, so let's go check something out. Now, uh, because this is Verizon right now, uh, I know at and is going to get the uh, Xperia Play soon, but uh, from the developers of Pocket Legends comes uh, this game. And I hope I have Wi-Fi. So uh, Pocket Legends is uh, Android, maybe iPhone, mobile, uh, MMO. So multi-massive online RPG and I'm just gonna play. So Star Legends uh, from the people who brought you Pocket Legends. Uh, this is a sci-fi version of basically an MMO. Uh, so whenever you start up the game it always uh, uh, downloads the latest patches. Now this game is in beta right now and it's only available through Verizon's really crappy app store. Uh, so you can't even find it on the Android market until I think the 20th. I think that's when it gets its general release. Um, but the reason why I'm showing this game is this is also another game that utilizes uh, these touchpads. So I want to show that off. Um, I always really like developers that are actually doing these controls. Um, I want to see more Android phones with this. So I can move around... Um, and unfortunately, I don't know of a good way, but everything that you see here, it's always one direction. I'm always just going one direction. There's no sort of speed, like on an actual control stick, so I can't walk by putting my thumb closer to that center dot. I can only just run in a direction. However, the right stick will also let me rotate the camera, and this is cool because I can zoom out and zoom in. Um, if I could, I know I can, but you don't. There we go. So I can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, so I can use this. And then I have all my powers available, uh, either on touchscreen stuff or using the control pad. The select and start, notice how they're the PlayStation icons, even though they're not even on the device itself. Uh, that's also for things. Um, this game it has been pretty fun, uh, especially chatting with other people and, and figuring out what's going on. Uh, the problem is it's not fully integrated. Uh, it's not fully integrated with, like, uh, if I want to do some of these options, I actually do have to touch on screen. Um, but other than that, the fact that I can use the gamepad is pretty helpful, and I don't have to block up uh, 
space to click and tap and all that stuff. So, uh, that's Star Legends. Uh, so there's are two games uh, that have shown uh, to be really good with sort of these uh, this touchpad area. Uh, and I think I can show you uh, one more thing. I going to show you a uh, bad example, uh, which is Star Battalion. Star Battalion is one of the games that comes on the device. Um, now you've seen how other games have played with these touchpads, um, but now I'm going to show you a really crappy example. So Star Battalion is essentially Star Fox. Uh, they even use the quotes like do a barrel roll and uh, thanks. You know, all the annoying little messages. <sighs> In order to skip, skip this, you can't use the actual controls. You have to actually tap on screen. Eh. Um, but a lot of the games uh, that uh, Gameloft has been making, um, as you've seen with like Age of Zombies or Star Legends, uh, you can use this uh, to basically rotate and act as movement and aiming and whatever. This game doesn't quite do that. So, we'll do like a campaign mission. Yeah. Pick a level. Bam. I want that ship. Let's go! And now we must wait. Um, just a little bit beforehand, why this game sucks so much uh, with using these controls is it doesn't seem to read them well. Like I had mentioned earlier, it's just sort of a swipe motion rather than actually reading it. So here, let me show you. This looks good. And you can, you can, you can sometimes, no, okay. So that's, that's what it's like doing this and it's really slow but if I move to the d-pad it's a major difference so it's almost like your major adjustments are gonna be done through the d-pad and your minor ones are being done through here um, and then this right control stick lets you do your flips and your barrel rolls but you can alternatively just do that with L and R um, so I don't know. I don't really like it because you don't get full control on these sticks. You just get like these minor adjustments. So I find myself just playing the game using uh, the D-pad. And uh, this is probably one of the worst examples of this. Ooh, I failed. So, I don't know. I think some developers ha can show that you can really utilize this uh, really well, and not just the hardware buttons. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the last quick example that I want to show uh, is EVAC HD, um, which has been making efforts on their part to actually make it better for the Xperia Play. So. Uh, the D-pad works much like a normal D-pad on like your droid or anything else. Um, and so they just utilized a little bit of code uh, to actually get you to go through all these menus. And you can now play the entire game just from the control pad and not have to use the touch screen at all um, for the majority of the game. Whereas before, um, you couldn't do that, but you could still use like this when actually playing the game because they have D-pad control set in. Um, but then they actually started doing some code and, and revising the game so it would, like even the menus would count the D-pad. Um, the progress that they've done has really made the game a lot more enjoyable. Um, and if you like Pac-Man uh, and really, really pretty graphics, uh, I recommend EVAC HD. Anyways, I've been talking for way too long. I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, and please leave comments. I'm Seattle Andrew, and thanks for watching.